Good afternoon, everybody. Today, uh, we are going to perform a very special uh, experiment called as a monochrome staining. Monochrome staining. What is staining? Staining is a provided color. So, stain, what is stain? Stain is a chemical agent which is going to provide color. Is that clear? And monochrome. Mono means single. Chroma means color. So, monochrome staining is a procedure. Monochrome staining is a procedure in which we are going to use a single mono, a single coloring agent, a single stain to provide color to the bacteria. Now, important question. Why to, why to provide a color? Why to give, uh, supply a color to the bacteria? Because naturally bacteria do not have any color. They are transparent. They are completely semi-transparent. If I won't be able to see the bacteria, if I, if, I won't, if I want to study the shape of the bacteria, size of the bacteria, the different kind of arrangement that I have taught you in the lecture, so we, I won't be able to see because I, they, they are transparent. Now, suppose if I provide us some color and observe the bacteria, bacteria are going to absorb that color, I, I would be able to see the color naturally. Now, what happened? I explain you this kind of shape. This is this is an arrangement of cocci, a single bacteria. You already know bacilli. This is called as a single cocci, diplococci, staphylococci, tetrad, sarsine, streptococci. Now these are the arrangement that uh, you have to study. You have to study the arrangement. You have to study the shape of the bacteria. I already explained you the shape of bacteria. Maybe a spiral. It may be a rod shape. It, it may be a spiral. It may be a spirochete, a different kind of shapes are available. Now, let's talk about, let's talk about what are the requirements of this particular experiment. Put first thing first. This is called as a nichrome loop. This particular instrument is called as a nichrome uh, loop. Why it is nichrome loop? Because uh, nichrome is a metal and it contains a loop and that's why it's called as a nichrome loop. It has got a, we got a second, uh, second uh, thing, this, this particular is called as a culture uh, and this is a curd, curd water because curd water contain a bacteria, I am going to use this uh, as a source of bacteria. These are the three stains, first one is called as a carbol fusion, second one is called as a crystal violet and the third one is called as a methylene blue. These are the three different kind of stain we are going to use in the experiment. This is called a burner and this is matchbox, very simple. Now, now let's talk about how the technique, that technique that you have to follow when we are performing this particular experiment. This is called as a slide. Okay, glass slide, simple glass slide. Now what I am going to do, I am going to take this nichrome loop and uh, I am going to take a one loop full of a culture sample. This is a culture sample. If you will see this particular loop, you can see it has got a one loop full of culture. Can you see? Good. Now, I will, and I will uh, spread it on the slide. Now, I want you to see this particular technique, how we are going to uh, bring about the, drop this culture, loop full of culture on the slide. Now, see, I have dropped this culture. Now. There is a particular mechanism by which we are going to bring about the, to make a smell of this culture. We are going to spread in a circular manner. Please see the direction, how I am spreading. See, it is a circular pathway like this. Is that clear? Now, if you will observe this, you will see a very thin smear is created. Thin smear, thin layer is created. I expect this, I expect this, you have to use the loop in a circular pathway. Now I have to place this for the air drying procedure. This particular smear has to be dry. Now I want you to focus and have a study on the periphery, the sides of the smear. If you will focus on the side of the smear, it is getting dry, but the central part is still not dry. So I want my middle portion, the central portion has to be dry in this way. 
that is uh, the way the periphery is there. Now we stop for some period of time and let this particular sample to get dry. Pause.